Hey guys, welcome to ED Technology. My name is Navjot Singh Jadeja. I'm a Cyber Home Certified Professional and a Cyber Home Certified Trainer. And in this series of videos, we'll be covering A to Z of data security threats which are released worldwide and we'll try to explain you how each individual is directly or indirectly affected by it. In the earlier videos, we have covered A in the Cyber Security Threat World and B in the Cyber Security Threat World. In today's video, we are covering C and D of the Cyber Security Threat World. So let us begin. So the first topic which we are covering here is cookies. Cookies are the files which are placed on your computer when you are accessing through your browsers. So the cookies stores the user behavior or it stores the preferences of the user and ultimately makes the user experience or user uh, surfing experience better. So they are not always bad. Cookies are designed to make user experience better, but it can lead into sniffing attack or cross-site request forgery attacks because now the user's preferences, user's uh, you know behavior are stored inside a file in a browser. And if somebody can get access to this, then it can lead into different sorts of attacks. Next up we are talking about is data theft. A deliberate or intentional theft of data within an organization or an individual system. This can lead into a lot of issues. The common sources behind this theft happening is either the you know malware or the Trojans running into your computer systems. This can be intentional by some individual in an organization running a malware program or it can be because you are you know clicking on the spam email links or you got an adware which you click ultimately leading to a malware getting installed. One of the most famous cases or the examples of data theft is when in 2011 a breach happened for Sony Corporation where 100 million customer data were breached and uh, compromised because of a theft and it resulted into two billion dollars of loss for Sony Corp and this happened through a PlayStation data breach. So you can understand how different data thefts can affect you directly or indirectly. Next up we are talking about is denial of service attack. This is one of the attack which is not known by the users but it directly affects the organization. So in a DOS which is denial of service attack, users are not allowed to access certain resource or a service like a website, data or application and they feel this is happening either because of the traffic or because of the poor bandwidth or some uh, issues at the service provider end. But that is not the case. This is happening intentionally because of a DOS attack. And the common types of attack which you would have seen is where a website gets crashed because uh, you know hacker or a hijacker keeps on sending more and more traffic ultimately leading into a website or an application crash. This is done for either improving their own purposes or either out of fun or this is done with a paid purpose by the competitors. So this is one sort of attack where corporations get fully loaded with too much of request and ultimately their service request capabilities are affected. Next up is document malware. This is one of the kind of attacks which is done within the individual computers or people working without the knowledge of document malware. So a document malware is an advantage where vulnerabilities in the application lets you read or edit a document within the application. So there are certain applications which are designed in a way where you can open a document and access it. So in that certain cases, document malware plays a huge role and ultimately leading it into a attack. One of the most common attacks of the same is when in 2011 using an Excel spreadsheet, a data breach of RSA security was performed because somebody opened a document and led into an editing a malware and running a malware program into the system. So these are the common ways the document malware are executed. So this is it for the C and D of the you know data security threats. We are covering A to Z uh, computer and data security threats. If you like our efforts, please like, share and subscribe for similar videos. And if you have any suggestions, please comment in the comment section. Thank you so much. Have a great day.